hello my people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if this is the first time you're seeing this beauty right here thank you so much for stopping by when you finish watching consider subscribing and if you are a return subscriber from my heart to you i love you i love you may god bless you for supporting me share my videos tell your friends tell your your children please come and let's go help miss jane out may god bless you thank you so much for your support so today i am here today to <clears throat> to talk about the burial of tb joshua yes i waited until he, he was buried he was finally laid to rest and uh, we all watched it. Ooh, I have never seen somebody buried like that. Oh, I have never in my whole life see somebody buried like that. Nigeria, I think the whole Nigeria, I think that's where they are in that barrier. So, but anyway, uh, when you love somebody, yes, why not? So, I am here to tell you guys mm. that even though. Prophet T.B. Joshua is gone. He's not here anymore. That T.B. Joshua's name will be used to continue to dupe people in that church. They will idolize T.B. Joshua in that church. That's why they did not go to his uh, village to bury him. As a grown man in our land, when they passed away, they always even request, say, take me to my family and go bury me in my family house. He did not uh, request for that. So they buried him inside his church. They buried him in the middle of his church. So every day you guys go to church, you will go to that place and you idolize TB Joshua. And so as I was watching, I saw this one. They have started a... Uh, doing their basket of how they're going to get all of you they have started doing it they're even saying that why he was lying in state you know he was in a, in a mirror i never seen casket. i never seen something like that though they were carrying him in a mirror like this car this car here. it has like a mirror glass glass casket or something like that and going to church doing everything people were watching so when they finally put all of you watched it you see where i have never gone to a barrier where people come to a barrier kneel down in front of uh, the person that died and bow down to the person i've never seen that one who if you have seen no please go to comment section that's what it is so i will never disable my comment section i don't care what i say here i will never never disable it all you need to do, you, you you say your own opinion the same way I'm talking. That's the same way you will talk. Unfortunately, I'm talking, but you are typing your own. Type your opinion. Your opinion is free. If I, if it's something I like, mm, I, te I will take your advice. That's what I promise you guys. I will take your advice. If it's something I can do and do. If I cannot do it, I'll just ignore you. If you curse your mama and your papa, that's your problem. But I will be here talking. I will be telling you guys the truth. I will be saying that and that most of you are scared to talk about. T.B. Joshua is not a man of God. If you have to go to a man that has passed away, they put his body in white, use a rope. They, if you, I, I, I zoomed in in the, in the thing. I found out that the clothes that he they have on him has something like a rope across across from like this to here Ch like like tie him down there something like that i don't know what he means so maybe it's a tire or a tire to go to heaven but that thing that i saw mm -mm. no they will idolize this guy till the last day so as I was watching the thing, they started building how they're going to collect all of you money. They post, the Emmanuel TV posted this one in his name, TB Joshua Ministry. He said, <coughs> after the contrary spirit in them manifested and they vomited poison. Oh no, they vomited poisonous substances in their system. Several people testified about the healing and freedom that they received. 
So they said why the man was lying in state. People still receive the spirit and they forbidden substances and healing. Any church that you are going that, that is telling you that you are vomiting substances and healing, that's fake church. It's not church. You do not vomit substance. After this one, I will tell you, um, I should even put it on this one. When you go to any church, I do not care what church that is. And somebody is telling you that somebody here vomited whatever, whatever, whatever. That's lies. Whatever they think that you are vomiting. Is it blood? Is it whatever? They are the one putting it in you. So they buried uh, T.B. Joshua in the middle of his is uh, for those of you that didn't see it you missed out oh, you guys missed out big time they buried him in the middle of his church that place looked like something that has been prepared a long time ago waiting they know what time that will be and that time comes they just carried the man jj inside church all of they they surrounded the place they bowed down they kneeled down so they put it where they put that thing where all of you will be going to come into that church and be seeing him right there and continue to bow down to him so that you guys will continue to vomit blood and come into vomit substances how did substance get into your system what kind of substance how, what kind of substance do you vomit what kind of substance let me vomit the substance myself. Let me vomit it. Me that don't believe in any nonsense that they are saying. How come it's the people that come to their church that are vomiting substance? Because they are putting the substance in all of you. Such a shameful thing. So I saw that church. I said, help, Chineke. We are trying. I pray to God that the person of this guy we make some people get away from there. We make some th people think. We make some people say, mm. stop kneeling down in church for TB Joshua. It will never stop. Watch the next thing that they will start telling you guys is how you guys will come to church. The same healing that he was doing before, the spirit of TB Joshua will continue to be healing all of you. And all of you will, now that's for sure now, will line up were lined up to be there. This is another write-up from, from the ministry, from T.B. Joshua ministry. God's power continue to minister across section of people falling under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Vomiting blood and poisonous substances. This is from T.B. Joshua ministry. I'm telling you guys the truth. Oh, do you guys want me to scream? I don't know. This is no church I beg. I know a very, very good friend of mine, very, very close friend of mine that will swear with his life that this church is the church that he, he would die in. You guys are being brainwashed. I understand. That is not going to take uh, just talking here to unbrainwashed you guys. But start listening just start saying mm, you check this out you check this out you say mm, maybe mm, maybe not you know when you start is the bible tells me that it's only a fool that think his own way is the best way that's what my bible tells me so if you think whatever it is that he is teaching you or that you know everything when it comes to this bible that you learn from tb joshua my dear hell is waiting for all of you if you don't come out now and pat yourself dust yourself and say mm -mm, i better get out now before before it is too late it will be too late so my lovely people i saw that idolization more of it is coming my lovely people let me tell you guys instead of going to vomit blood in the church go to go to the hospital so that they will find out why you are vomiting blood because all of you will continue to vomit blood until you pass away just like he did that last uh, it wasn't last month when uh, somebody who said that she's a he's a woman oh 
she say, uh, 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 what do you call it? Fasting, fasting and praying for the husband that I left her seven years. <laughs> The husband that left her seven years ago, the pastor told her to continue to fast that the man is coming. She fasted. She continued to fast and fast and fast until the, almost the last minute she passed away and gone. If you guys don't stop listening to this pastor say, uh, oh well, the place is big enough for all of you to get inside there. If you don't borrow yourself sense and know that the word of God is for all. The word of God is common sense. The word of God is for you to open it and read it for yourself. The word of God is yep and amen. May God bless you. Bye-bye before it's too late. Bye.